Welcome back everybody. Uh, hang out till the end, I've got something spicy to show you. But box three of this case, let's see what we get. Uh, today was the last skirmish in Sydney. I top aided. Um, I played against three Kasai's to begin with and then a Kano and a Briar. I lost to one Kasai and the Briar, and then my top eight match was immediately against the Briar again, which is a very one-sided matchup, unfortunately for me. Uh, didn't go well, but I got a Levia cold foil and um, a whole bunch of packs. Shout out to uh, Grimdark. I bought a playmat while I was down there. Uh, obviously support the local stores. Okay, so foil death dealer, pack two. Um, Grimdark are in Wollongong, which is south, in the south, the southern part of New South Wales, on the coast, if you're not from Australia or New South Wales. Uh, great store, new store, new business. Brandon, the owner, was very welcoming. It's cool, like, um, maybe this is, like, my ego, but he watches all the Aussie content creators. Uh, he listens to our videos, and he had, like, a lot to chat to me about, which is cool. Um... Great event, great prize support, a uh, very well-run event. Uh, even for a new business, he's, he had all the screens up and everything was uh, orderly, uh, which is all, always very good. Uh, the event ran on time kind of thing is what I'm trying to say. Uh, bought some singles, bought some packs. He gave away six packs, I believe, per entry. Um, so everybody got six packs for turning up and then obviously the prize kit itself. So yeah, uh, pretty good. Happy with the skirmish season. I wish I hadn't, um, I wish I had, I should say, worked on my Icelander deck and played that. I feel like I would have had more fun. Although Kasai is very fun. It turned out not many people played Icelander this season at all. And I think she's incredibly powerful against some of the stronger decks in the, in the meta. But anyway, um... What's he gonna say? So I think what's next for Flesh and Blood is um, I'm in the US for Pro Tour. That's next. And then Pro Quest after that. For now, I'll just keep playing Blitz or CC. I think it's a lot of the uh, local stores that will be running CC now uh, in preparation for the Pro Quest. I um, wanna try and convince some stores to run Ultimate Pit Fight. <laughs> which would be cool. So we'll see if I can get that off the ground. Chain lightning. Uh, what else? What else? I've got, um, so had some thoughts today about um, Fab 2.0. Some of you uh, who are local may know this, but I've been collecting a whole lot of unlimited legendaries and fabled. And, and uh, this whole Fab 2.0 and the current pricing of you know cold foils dropping rapidly or a lot of a lot of the higher end cars dropping rapidly sort of um made me think that whatever LSS do I'll I'll support them like I'm a, I'm a fan at the end of the day I'm not in this for money but I really see uh I really do see unlimited being the future now I don't think they'll ever get rid of cold foils I'm not trying to say that but I, I'm starting to warm to the idea of if they just release one set, which is basically the equivalent of unlimited, everything is, is rainbow foil, but then once in a while, every, you know, 40 boxes or whatever, ooh, foil data doll, every 40 boxes or whatever, you have a chance to hit a cold foil, like, but something high end, like none of these common cold foils, more like the fabled or the legendary can be cold foil. Um, yeah, these, these game pieces are what seem to be valuable. And the more I play the game, the more I understand that. It's not, not just from an investment perspective, but if you're going to park money, if you're going to collect anything, uh, cold foils are amazing and rare, but, you know, when you have... Ooh, okay. Third box had the tunic in it. Beautiful. Uh, it's very, um, it's very good that I hit that because I'll show you where it goes in a second. 
I, I guess I don't have a, a like a fully formed thought on this. All I'm trying to say is I like that um, right now I'm really focusing on the lower end, I guess, the higher end of Unlimited, and it seems like a good place to be putting funds. It also is better for growing the game because having a whole lot of Unlimited Legendaries really helps players around you that are building decks. It also helps you build decks, and they still hold their value even while you're playing with them and having a lot of fun. Unfortunately, right now, the really high-end cold foils, yes, you can play with the equipment, but they're like rapidly losing value in some cases which sucks uh, i'm not gonna you know sell all mine i have a whole bunch um but i'm not putting more money into it and i think you'll find right now is a terrible time to sell those because a lot of people aren't willing to put their money into it does that have to do with maybe people waiting for fab 2.0 and what that means and what like you know i think there is a there is limbo in fab right now from a spending perspective. I don't think it has anything to do with the growth of the game more than it has to do with uh, the unknown. And unknown is usually like a stifling or has a stifling effect on growth. That's my ramblings, my thoughts. I'll, I'll actually show you what I'm talking about if you're still here. So I've been working on this folder um, for a while now. Uh, this is pretty much all unlimited. Um, you've probably seen me pull most of these Command and Conquers. Sorry about the glare. There's some first ads, but pretty much everything in here is unlim. So I've been collecting stuff that either is quite rare in Unlimited or uh, very important for deck building. Uh, these are dull caps, I believe. Now, I've pulled most of these, but then I've also been slowly buying them when I see them um, come up on the market. And you can see from a deck building perspective, uh, is this a, yes, it is. So tunics, see, I have two. I had like eight, but people keep buying them. Um, I, I'm building this for myself because when I want to build a deck, if I decide to try to play Mechanologist, I can immediately just jump in and pull a Teclo heart and potentially whatever else I need. Yes, there's no Majestics in here because you can still get non-foil Majestics, which are very accessible. A lot of this stuff isn't. Shout out to Palms Off Gaming. Great products, guys. Uh, Australian-based company. Uh, I'm going to link all Grimdark stuff. They streamed the event today. Uh, some of our like top players in the country actually play at um, Grimdark. Uh, Big Chungus, <laughs> if you've heard of him in my chat plays there so uh please go subscribe to grimdark uh if you're australian check out their singles and stuff their pricing is pretty good uh they have these playmats available as well they have a two-sided playmat worth picking one up if you play at home and stuff and want that like clean two-sided playmat i'll link that subscribe to grimdark um let me know what you think about unlimited what you think lss will do next for the game and this fab 2.0 stuff if you have an opinion let me know uh i will see you soon Thank you for watching Flukenbox. Please subscribe for more content.